So like a lot of people, I've held off from buying a high-end graphics card because of the prices right now. Combine that with the fact that I've been a flight simulator enthusiast for about 40 years, uh, I've been very frustrated. But fortunately, I do have an Xbox One X and I just got an OLED TV. So guess what? I'm going to be able to run it in 4K. So since I already own a flight simulator, I thought I'd check it on the Xbox and sure enough, it's coming out. It'll be here in a few days. So what to do? Just wait till it comes out? Well, I looked at my uh, Xbox and I noticed that I'm out of space. Flight Simulator is supposed to be around 96 gig and I only have 41 left. The good news is I wanted to go ahead and get a SSD for my Xbox because it would speed up things. So now's the time to get one. And I think I'll add it as an external drive. So after researching a bit, I decided to go ahead and get a M2 drive in order to do this for future proofing for I may be able to use it someday later on after I get rid of the Xbox. Who knows? So anyways, I found what I liked and I go ahead and ordered it uh, from the usual place. By the way, there's links in the description for it. And to connect it to the Xbox, all I needed was an external enclosure. So I found one of those, uh, one that's uh, rated pretty well, and decided I'm going to order those. So one thing to note is that on this particular enclosure, you'll notice that the outside of the enclosure is, has a bunch of indents in it, and that's because it serves as a heat sink for the device. In fact, it uses the same technology as on motherboards. They have a little case on the motherboard, a little heat sink, and it attaches to it, and it helps dissipate the heat. So all you have to do is uh, get your device open, this, this case open, and insert the uh, SSD or the M2 into it. You'll see it here. And as per the instructions, you insert it at a 20 degree angle to make a contact line up. And then you easily push down on the device, on the drive. And on the other end, there's a little rubber bumper that you pull back and then you slide back to lock the device in place. Then all that's left to do is to plug in the cable that came with it and go ahead and uh, use it, right? Not quite. We're going to have to prepare it using the PC. A couple of things to note here. The one is that it has to be a USB 3.0 or faster and 128 gig. It also says, like it says here, it has to be formatted on your PC. So once you have that device ready, you're going to bring up the disk manager in Windows 10 or whatever copy of Windows you have. It will find the disk once you plug it into your PC. Then it's a question of just formatting it. And once you allocate the space to a partition, then you'll see it here, ready to go. And you can pull it out of your PC and hook it up to the Xbox. Depending on which console you have, you'll have some USB ports in the back probably. Uh, different versions have different uh, locations. Anyways, you hook them up back there to one of those slots. Now the Xbox, which wouldn't recognize it before, automatically finds it and is going to run you through the setup. And you're going to want to do this for a storage device. And that particular format on the Xbox will let you store your games there. So it's going to ask you for a name. I put a oh, unique name of external M2. And by the way, during this process, you have to decide if you want it to be the default location for new stuff or not. I kept it on the current location. I can move stuff on my own. So I'm not bothering to put the actual formatting, but uh, it formats the drive. It takes a few seconds. And all of a sudden, you'll find out when you go back to the storage screen that you'll have all the space available. Since I already had uh, Halo moved, I can show you a dead space here. You just simply click on the button to go to the menu. And you get to manage game and add-ons. And you just click on that to go to the next screen, which will tell you, okay, where it's at, what's going on. And you click on it one more time. So you get a screen that allows you to either manage it, or there's another option. You go down to where it says move or copy. And then you get a list where you can checkbox the ones you want to move. Now, if you have multiple ones, you've gone into several different ones. You simply can say select all or click each one you want. And then go here, and then you'll have the options showing copy, select it, or move. Of course, again, I'm going to move it so I free up a space. So it takes a while to move. Uh, Halo took a while because it's pretty big, so it's like 30 minutes or more. Uh, but then you end up with something like this. I now have more room on my internal drive to play around with games that I want to experiment with to take a look at. And I now have enough room to install Flight Simulator on my external SSD. One last word of caution. Don't store this behind your Xbox where it is in the path of the heat or anywhere else that's going to get hot. Try and store it someplace where it's going to get a lot of airflow. So there you have it. Enough room on your Xbox to keep your old games and also load up those new exciting ones that take up so much space. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. 
You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.